And welcome to the stream. I'm Father Roderick, and hopefully this time the streaming will uh, work fine. I tried to do several other Let's Plays uh, earlier today, and I just couldn't figure out how to get everything up and running smoothly. That's why I've uh, reverted to uh, one of my favorite casual games, where the only thing you do is... Uh, drive around in a truck <laughs> through Europe in this case is Euro Truck Simulator 2 um, I never thought that I would enjoy a game like this but I actually do um, I hope that uh, let's see oh yeah, yeah yeah wait a minute I hope the audio is fine let me know if you can hear me and I'm currently in France uh, in a city on the west coast of France La Rochelle, and uh, I have to bring uh, my cargo all the way to Italy, to uh, the most southern part of Italy. Now, uh, as usual in this game, it's all about making sure that you don't damage your cargo. Uh, oops. And I, oh, I immediately ma made a mistake. I can never really find the exit here. So I'm just going backwards. I thought the exit was right there in front of me, but the, I noticed that the, um, uh, the gate was closed. So I just hope I'm not going to bump into anything. Oh, there you go. And now it's open. The, the guy there has... Uh, Notice that I wanted to go. Oh, now it's closing again. Hey, dudes, I want to get out. There you go. All right. I have a GPS system on the right, so I know where I have to go. It's very quiet usually at night, so I don't think we're going to run into many other cars here at this time of the night. This, of course, is a kind of a, an industry compound or something like that. Uh, let me take a look at the uh, comments. So I'm looking at the comments in my um, on my iPad, which is very tiny. I mean, the the letters are very tiny. So uh, okay. So so can you uh, can you hear me? Let's let me ask that first. And if so, is the audio good enough? If you could answer that in the chat, that would be nice. Hello, Captain One. All right, I don't think anything is coming, so let's go. And I think I'm transporting a liquid. I'm not sure I didn't pay attention when I picked up the job. Um, I'm just driving a rented uh, uh, truck. This is not my own truck. But this makes for a very easy start. It always takes me a while to get a hang of the of the controls again. Audio is good. Can't hear the game though. Okay, that's possible. Uh, let's see if I can fix that. Maybe because in the settings I kind of lowered the volume because in No Man's Sky it was very uh, very loud. Okay, I get to turn here to the right. It's really dark in France here. All right, let's see what I can do uh, audio-wise. Um, options. Audio. Oh, yeah, the master volume is very low. Can you hear the music now? Let me try 50%. Just don't want to overdo it too much. All right, anything coming now? No. Most of the French are just sleeping, except for this guy. All right, let me know if you can hear the engine of the, of the truck now. Uh, I need to be able to see my mirrors, of course. All right, good luck in class.
All right, the uh, traffic lights are out of order, so that's always a bit risky. Especially if you drive a big truck like this. This is an expansion on the uh, on the original game. So let's slowly turn this way. So normally France is not included in the base game, but uh, I really, really like this DLC. It's it's very realistic. I've been in France many times, and uh, just feels like I'm here. A cop chase. Well, <laughs> you need a different type of game. This is not uh, the need for speed. This is a simulator, but still very enjoyable because it's it's done so well. So right now it's um, two thirty in the morning. Which means that we're gonna drive whoops. Oh oh you see in the in the right mirror I took the uh I just didn't realize how let's drive a little bit back. Oops. Oh this is gonna be tough. F the French streets are so small and I got stuck with my truck. That's not good. All the physics of this game are very, very realistic. Too realistic for my taste. Because <laughs> now I can't, I can't go back or forth. Uh-oh. <laughs> I crashed into the guy before, me, in front of me. Okay, this is not good. How do I, how do I get out of here? Um. No, 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 no. Oops. Oh lordy lordy. I'm completely stuck. <laughs> okay, get out of my way. This town is just not made for, for trucks, for big trucks. Hey Helena, right now I'm not going to talk about Star Wars if that's okay with you. And again, just a reminder, uh, please don't repeat the same questions over and over again. There is no need for that. All right. It's very dark here. I can see some stars. Yeah, I rear-ended someone. Okay, now we're out of the city so we can finally start making some progress let's uh, go hit the uh, the highway oh these French roads are so dark I do like their uh, well actually I thought I liked their <laughs> their uh, their entries to the highway, but they're still very short. Why not play this in multiplayer? Uh, because I like single player. <laughs> not really a game, this is just me driving around. This is one of the few games I know that I can play without having to stress except for when I get stuck. And I get to see part of Europe, which is a lot of fun. Except for <laughs> when it's dark like today. <laughs> oh, man. Playing this with a joystick, so not with a steering wheel, because those Steering wheels take a long time to set up and they're always in the way when you when you use when when you want to use your computer for other stuff. Um I think this one has a speed limiter. So I can't really go too fast. It, it's quite busy for this time of year or time of the day. I mean it's like three o'clock in the morning and look at how much traffic there is. OK, 
Okay, let's see if I can pass this one by. So in Europe, we always have to pass on the left side. It is forbidden to pass a car on the other side. Okay, Prosped, Posped or whatever. He must be German. Well, maybe not. Maybe he's French. But he's slow. Look, there is a traffic jam in the middle of the night. What the heck? And really, for no apparent reason. Get out of my way! Oh my goodness. And uh, that is very French. There's another car here on my right, you see? So y the French don't really, <laughs> in this game at least, don't really obey the rules. You should be fined. Okay, so now we're gonna. Uh, Pay some toll. I think this should be automatic, but let's just follow the other guy. Yeah, I think this is automatic. Yep. Good, good, good. All right, here we go again. So again, for those of you that have just joined, I'm driving from the west coast of France to Italy. So we're going to pass through the eastern part of France. Uh, we'll probably arrive I around the town of um, Turin early in the morning, and then we'll just drive all the way down to the south. Oops. I've got a fast truck. I'm faster than these guys. Still <laughs> takes a while for me to get used to the com to the controller again. Oh boy. Ooh, we need to do something crazy here. Again, very very tricky to do with a large truck. Let's hope I don't get stuck. So uh, the map in Euro Truck is um, is very faithful to the real road system in Europe, but it's uh, diminished scale. So I'm not sure exactly what the scale is. Here we have to uh, get on the regular highway again. Uh, let's just go this way. Fourteen bucks. For just a few kilometers. That's a rip off. Actually, there's not even a highway. I think we're just in a rural part of the of the country. Look at these smaller houses. Oh, an air conditioning unit. That is rare in France. So if you've driven a lot in France like I have. Sometimes it's a bit jarring because you're like, well, hey, wait a minute, I'm just missing part of the country here. But on the whole, the cities are located where they should be. The landscape is very much the way it looks. I love the way they portray the various phases of the day. Here's a round point. Around about, oops, and the weather is also pretty realistic, although I think we're going to have a very nice summer day, that's what it looks like. This must be late summer because the grain is on the fields, hasn't been harvested yet. But you can get snow and and rain and wind and it all looks just like the real thing. 
Normally, if I weren't streaming, I'd be playing the radio because you can. Um, oops, not so fast. You could actually play um, real radio stations on your car radio. Obviously, they're internet stations. But that gives it even more of a realistic feel. Like it, it, it is as if it, you're really on the road. Because the radio will give you news updates and everything as if you were, as if this were, you know, happening right here and now. Looks like we're going to have a nice uh, sunrise there in the distance. Oh, it says uh, radar précaution. So watch out for speed control. You actually do get fined. Oh, here it's only 70 kilometers per hour. So I'm driving a little bit too fast. So you will get fined if you don't obey the rules. And that, of course, is subtract subtracted from your overall uh, your overall uh, um, gain gains or salary I hope that we're gonna pass also by some more famous landmarks although France is 90% this <laughs> and only 0.00001% Eiffel Tower may surprise you but ooh. look they even have like a functioning radar I'm in a, a village now so it's 50 I think I've got well I've got a half a tank of gas that won't be enough for south of Italy but for now that's fine okay and here we are out of the village again so we can now speed up again until we reach 80 kilometers per hour so hello of you all in the uh, all of you in the chat room we're driving in Europe in beautiful France look at that sunrise how beautiful how gorgeous that is with the golden rays and everything unfortunately I can't really take my eyes off the road to read your comments or questions and I haven't figured out a way to uh, to put them on my screen so I can see in the corner of my eye on my iPad that you are posting Oh, 70 let's slow down here that you are maybe asking me questions and everything but if I would look at the chat, I'd probably drive into a tree. It's not that it's a, a super big highway here. You know what I should have in this game? I should have a, uh, like a second a passenger in the passenger seat who could uh, read the comments to me, <laughs> just like in real life. <laughs> We're going in the direction of Limoges. A beautiful city, by the way. Look at that sunshine. It's going to be a glorious day in France. And actually quite calm, traffic-wise. So that we're, we're in the middle part of France, so this is... Um, it's not entirely flat like in the north of France, but it's also not really the mountainous area. This is, uh, you've got lots of hills, some forests, uh, but also a lot of um, farms. Can be sunflowers, can be uh, potatoes or corn. I guess we'll see grain, of course. So France is nothing like the Netherlands. If this were the Netherlands, I'd already be at my destination because <laughs> everything is very, very close by. A 
what's really great about this game is that you'll also see that the cars differ from country to country. So here you see a lot of the more of the French car brands. Oh, we're leaving the interstate or the, the highway. So I'm going to have to adapt my speed here a little bit. And you'll also notice that if you go, for instance, to England, the steering wheel will be on the right side instead of on the left. And people will drive on the left side. So I've actually used this game or this simulation to train for my trips in, in the UK. Makes it much less scary when, when you feel you've already been there, even though it's just in a, in a, in a simulation. This is a semi-automatic truck, so I don't have to really shift gears or anything. But just staying on the road and uh, managing the this cargo, which is not the easiest to transport, I have to say. These large, but the the worst are the the two-parters, where you have two containers. Or oops, that bus is probably yeah has priority. Okay. That's what I thought. Those X's mean that you can't go there. It's off the map. And it's very unfair that the, the NPC, so the other computer-generated cars, can go there. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish I could go there. <laughs> it reminds you that you're in a simulation. But most of the time, while you're driving, you don't get to see that many of those virtual frontiers. Toulouse, Limoges, so that brings you goes to the south. Oh, starts to rain a little bit. Um, okay, I think I have to go here. We're not going to Limoges. Paris, Le Mans. Paris, of course, is more, uh, how do I turn on the, I forgot, hold on, let me figure out how to turn on the wipe, the, the, the what is it, uh, what was it again, hold on, I'll figure it out, how did I turn on the, I'm just going to stop here and seriously annoy the, the people behind me. I need to figure out how to do this. Is it J? No. Oops. <laughs> ah, there you go. Oh, well, that's not fast enough. Let's put it on. Okay, there you go. That's That's fine. Here we go. Not too many angry Frenchmen behind me. <laughs> In this game, you're lost without your mirrors. Because you can't really look quickly to the left or to the right like you would do in reality. <coughs> oh, another village. Let's slow down a little bit. But it's amazing how real this looks, at least to me. Totally feels like I'm dr actually driving in the rain in France. Even the gates at the houses look very, very real to me. And of course, every French town has its, uh, its church. And also the type of churches will differ from area to area. Of course, it's a little bit more standard. Than in reality, because they can only. Create a limited number of, of buildings. So over time, you'll start to see identical buildings sometimes in towns. But I have to say that in terms of landscaping, they do a very, very good job making you feel like it's a real landscape. Even the trees are kind of slightly different from one another.
Now, I did not realize that this would be <laughs> uh, an itinerary that would lead me through all these small towns, because that is going to, of course, slow me down tremendously. Okay, careful now. Anything coming from there? No. Whoops. Sorry, the uh, switching back and forth with the camera is sometimes a bit jarring. Ah, and of course, we have travaux that are working on the road. See that? They're deliberately creating a curve in the road to slow down traffic because we're in France. They usually do this stuff at the entrance of the villages so that you can't really speed through it. I'm going uphill so my my truck has a bit of trouble getting torque. Ah, we have a train. Some train tracks here. Let's not go too fast. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I'm going way too fast, actually. This was still inside the village. So, if you look at the uh, GPS system, you'll see that uh, not only does it indicate the the road uh, and the direction I have to take, but also these beds. Those indicate places where you can actually sleep for a couple of hours, and you have to, because as a as a truck driver, of course, there's very stringent regulations on how. Oh, nice! Thank you for waiting. How many hours you can drive, and if you if you ignore your uh, your body you'll actually fall asleep and your eyes start to close and the screen turns black and you bump into a tree if you're not careful. So that's all done very, very well. Well, this looks like a tourist bus. They're always super slow. Yeah, you go drive on the right lane, in the right lane, yes, please? Normally, if this were really France, I would be honking like mad. Sacré bleu! Allez! À droite! Vite! Bah, arrêtez! C'est pas normal, là! Hein? Mais maintenant, finalement, il s'en a, il s'en va, hein? Bah! Quelle andouille! Alright, that, that was some French. Uh... <laughs> some French road language. Whoa! Holy moly! This road is way too curvy for big trucks. Oh la la! Alors, let's go. Ooh, there's a nice lake here on the left side. Unfortunately, I don't dare to look to the left. Oh, another town! Bromont! Couldn't read it. Looks like it's been most of the buildings are here from the from the early sixties. This one's more recent. And then you've got the old farm buildings that are much more ancient, usually nineteenth century. Alright, we're finally back on the highway. Just a little turn here. And hopefully we can speed up a little bit. Because I want to go to Italy. Bah allez, allez-vous-en Mais comment C'est pas normal, ça. Ok, Bordeaux, here we go. Péage, which means uh, we gotta pay again. Alrighty. Cards, I will use my credit card to go through this. Oh, it's all automatic, no people. Bloop. Enter. Go, 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 go. Oops. I think I just crashed into the thing. 
There you go. <laughs> Hello. Ali, 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 Ali. The other station was automatic. Whoa, hey, dude. Good morning to you too, sir. He must have skipped his morning coffee, I think. And now, of course, he's going to drive extra slowly just to annoy me. But I am going this way. Bye-bye. Thankfully. Here we are. Of course, it's priority for the other cars already on the road, but it is quiet today. So here we go. All right, let us step on it. I don't think I can look at a world map to see where we are, but um, under the speed limit, in my GPS navigation window, there is an estimated time of arrival that is Friday, a quarter to eight in the evening, whereas now it's Thursday, 10 o'clock. So we still have about 20 hours to go, which I don't think we can do without sleeping and certainly not without getting some extra gas at one point. Okay, we're going in the direction of Lyon that's more to the east from where we are. Rain, rain, rain. Oh, look at that. Is that a Volkswagen? I think so. Whoa! Where are we going? I did not see this coming. <laughs> I was trying to figure out which car that was. Dangerous. I always get in trouble when I don't focus on the road. Another péage. Ah, oh, but dis donc, hein? Faut pas exagérer. Let's not exaggerate. I'll just go here. Whoa, do you see that? That was a thunderstorm. Hello, sir. Yeah, I pay. Come on. I press the bloody A button. Enter. Here we go. There we go. Auvergne. Well. Let's see. Now I have to go again uh, en direction de Lyon. Uh, how do I do that? I think this is where I turn. Yeah. Ooh. Sacre bleu. The weather is really dangerous. All righty. Um, I think I need to go take this one. Whoa. Only in France. That is very confusing. <coughs> no one's coming. All right. Let's go. Clermont. I once got stuck under a bridge like this in the rain. It was not fun. Okay, no, we're not going to Marseille. Lyon, péage. Of course, we have to pay again. Oi, oi, oi. Alors. Alors, alors, alors. Oh, there is a car on my left. Why don't you go? Ah. Really, these French drivers, they could have gone to the left a little bit. They see me trying to join the highway. But no. There is no obligation to do that, so we will not do that. You big fat truck, you just wait until we are past. <sighs> All right, let's pay again, why not? <clears throat> Looks like the weather is improving. I can see some sunshine, that's good. All righty, here we go. This should be automatic. Take it easy. 
Start of toll road. Fee will be paid at the end. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you have to pay at the start. Sometimes you have to pay at the end. Oh wait, there's a truck again that uh, cut me off the other the other uh, just a few minutes ago, or maybe it's a similar truck. I wonder what the tr what they transport in there. There's some tiny windows in the back. Maybe cattle. I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> Excusez-moi. Yes, the rain is subsiding. All right. Oh, of course there is another French guy. Okay, let me go. Here we go. Just a few spats and then I think we're good. Hey, hey, I can drive one kilometer per hour faster than you can. Na, 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 na. Allez, 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 allez. Plus vite. Plus vite, plus vite, plus vite. Mm. Good grief. My cargo is... Uh-oh. I need to go and find a place to sleep. You hear that? My virtual alter ego is yawning. Maybe it's also because there's not much happening. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the right side. Still some rain. Okay, here is a... Um, there's a place probably where we can sleep in 350 meters. Let's go do that. Here we go. Air de la plaine du forêt. Forez. Okay, so where do I sleep? I think I have to go here. Do I need to uh, fill her up? Oh, actually, yes, I do. Let's first sleep. Um. Oh, wait, huh? Oh, okay. I can get gas here too, that's good. Uh, diesel price, blah, blah, blah. Total price, okay. Stop the engine and then fill her up. Here we go. This is a rental truck. I think my boss will uh, will pay for the fuel anyway. Very good. That was quick. Yep, let's go. Yeah, fuel expenses are covered by my employer. That's good. All right, now let's find a place to sleep. Whoa. Um, I think I'll just have to park here in order to sleep. Yeah, there clearly is another guy already sleeping here. I'll just uh, go stand next to him. Maybe a little bit more like this. Okay. E and then I can sleep. Here we go. You're getting some rest. And it is already in the evening of the Thursday. Okay, we, we're we fully rested again. The other guy is still sleeping. You see that? Oh, boy. But can I get around him? That may be tricky. Without ramming him. <laughs> oh, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, he must be awake now. <laughs> so glad this is not my truck. Okay, well, let's turn off the, the rain. 
Come on. This is also something you often see in France. When you uh, leave a parking area like that, they will remind you how f what the speed limit is. And in this case, they've got two different speed limits. It's 130 kilometers per hour normally. And then when it's um, raining, you have to uh, reduce your speed to 110. Although these trucks usually have a, a fixed maximum speed at 90 kilometers per hour. Which you can sometimes push a little bit if you go downhill, for instance. But chances are you get fined. Depends on the area. This is a rural area, so there's not much police out there. But uh, sometimes in cities like Paris, you drive around there, you get fined every single second. All right. Good day, sir. Let's go. Where do I drive? I drive in France. At least I think we're still in France. But we're heading for Italy. The downside is I've slept during the day so it means that we're gonna drive quite a bit of time in the dark unless I sleep another time but then I may not uh, m make the deadline so the faster you deliver the more money you will get and if you're really late like that happened to me once when I got stuck in a traffic jam uh, you actually get less than what you would normally get paid. You can also get bonuses if you uh, if you transport, for instance, dangerous goods or highly inflammable goods, or when you have to drive around real big cargo. Like once I was in Norway, driving around a tank, like an army tank, and the truck was so slow and so hard to get through certain certain curves in the road but the pay was really really good plus it was Norway so long stretches of nothingness hardly any traffic Montpellier Marseille uh, I think that's what we're gonna do of course Marseille is more to the southeast Mm, no, it actually tells me that I have to stay on this one. If they let me. Lyon Centre. Oh, okay. So we're in the vicinity of Lyon. You can see the dashboard of the car in front of me. How cool is that? So there's also an American version of this game called American Truck Simulator. And in many ways, it's even more impressive than this one because uh, the landscape, of course, is super diverse and, and really beautiful. And they always make sure to include the, um, the highlights of a particular state. So I think the Grand Canyon, for instance, is uh, part of it. Oh, there's Lyon. It's a pretty industrial city. Not one of my favorite French cities. Although I do have some friends there. Oh, there's been an accident. All right, we're going to enter Lyon. Interesting. And, uh oh, I gotta go to the right in a minute. Let's already change lanes. Oi, oi, oi. Ah, this is too small. Okay, and here we have to go to the right. 
It was one of the one of the few skyscrapers or office buildings in this part of the city. <coughs> Usually you can't really get into the heart of the cities in this game. So most of the monuments you will see in the uh, on the horizon. There we go. Okay, so I'm passing the city uh, via the southeast. There we go. Oops. Ooh, that was a little bit too tight. I already feared. That was a bit overly enthusiastic. Whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute. Am I driving in the wrong, wrong side of the road? I think I am. Okay, well, at least the... Oops. Let us pray that we don't get... Yeah, that was... Yeah, this is slightly illegal. Don't do this at home. <laughs> okay, no police, thankfully. Goodness gracious. <laughs> that was stupid. What was I thinking? All right. I really don't like driving in cities. Not in this game and not in real life either. Cities always stress me out. It's so easy to make mistakes. Geneva, Turin. Yes, Torino. That means this is the first time we see an Italian name on the on the road signs so we must be getting closer oh encore encore péage see now I'm pushing this thing to 88 kilometers per hour probably not the wisest thing to do when you're approaching toll booth I think the green icon means you can pay cash there. Whereas here it is automatic. There we go. <coughs> Do you listen to Christian music? Someone in the chat wants to know. Um, actually, no, never. I'm not really a fan of uh, gospel music or I don't know. I like a lot of music, but a lot of the Christian music is so on the nose. I like to be in church. I like to pray. I like to sing religious songs when I'm in church. But when I'm just at home or in the car, I just listen to regular pop music, classical music. Depends on the mood that I'm in. And I have a bit huge preference for songs that I can sing along with. So I do a lot of belting in the car <laughs> when nobody hears me. <laughs> All right, a tunnel. Very well lit, of course, as always, in France. But it's also because there's not really a Catholic. Whoa! Almost bumped into that guy. Catholic religious music is very rare, at least modern music. So I never grew up with it, uh, which is a difference. Which which is different from uh, a lot of Protestant uh, kids that just grow up with the Michael. What's his name? Michael Smith. That sort of music. Hillsong. Yeah, I'd like my music to be about other stuff than uh, religious uh, topics.
Hello, blue car, will you please uh, step on it a little bit or I will step on you. Turin, oh yeah, Italy, here we come. And then I will go and switch to my fake Italian accent. Oh, here we go, Turin. Can't wait to get out of France. <whistles> doom -de doom Whoa. Okay. What time is it? It is almost midnight here in France. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I find this game so relaxing. <laughs> There's nobody to shoot. There is uh, not much that can happen to you. If only, well, you can get into a traffic accident, but that's your own fault. And what I, the game is actually quite deep. This is one of the simplest modes where you just pick up a job and you, and they provide you with a truck and, uh, and cargo, but you can actually create your own trucking company. If you make eno enough money, you buy your own truck and then you make, of course, much more money than when you do these, uh, uh, these are random jobs and then if you save up enough money you can get a second truck and another driver that will drive for you and in the end you can you can make millions if you uh, if you play it well so that that is very cool I've done a little bit of that, although I don't have any other drivers driving for me. Not yet. I do have a nice truck that I paid for with my savings. I, I think it's a Mercedes, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> looks very nice. I usually just go for the looks. And, and also sometimes for there's just the feel. Uh, every truck feels different. But there is so much to explore. I mean, we're talking about thousands and thousands of miles of virtual virtual roads in many places on the map that I've never been to. And of course, it, it also depends what time of the day you visit certain places. So today we've been to Lyon, but it was night, so we didn't see much. And I can't really veer off of my uh, trajectory too much because then I'll I'll be too late with the cargo when I'm driving for my own company you saw that there were some falling stars there in the sky that's great when I'm driving by myself I can usually just you know when I'm in an interesting town I'll just go explore so I'll make my money anyway The American uh, version of this game has a great Easter egg uh, because in one of the maps you can actually go to Area 51 and you'll notice that there are actually UFOs flying in the sky. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. 88 bucks. Oh, jeez. That is so expensive. Can you make a mission in Germany? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be playing this game uh, from time to time. But right now we're doing France and Italy. Polar fish. Okay. So the next time we can go to Germany or Poland. Poland is in there. Czech Republic. You can go to Scotland, Ireland. The Netherlands, of course. Belgium, Luxembourg, Spain. Spain is very cool too. But France for me is, is my favorite part of the map. It's also one of the newer uh, DLCs. Germany was part of the original game so it's not as detailed as uh, 
the French part of the of the map. They've been kind of redoing certain areas from time to time. They're focusing most of their attention to the American version of the game right now. They already have a couple of states. With Europe, they've been adding more Eastern European countries, which are not that interesting to me because I've never been there. So Czech Republic, Germany, Poland, that's great because I've I kind of know the place, but if you go even more east, oh, I think we're in we're in Italy. You see, the signs are now in Italian. Telepass via carta. Eh, hey, Italia. Eh, hey, ci siamo. Molto bene. We are in Italy, ladies. Ah, dude, espèce de connard. Ugh. I almost crashed into the guy. All right, let's see if my automatic card works in Italy. Yes, it does. Oh, I want to go for an Italian cup of coffee. Although it is only a quarter to two in the morning, so maybe a little bit early for a cappuccino. You see how everything changes once you cross the border? The traffic, the lights, the, the lights on the road are different. The, uh, the plants near the highway are different. You've got different restaurants, different brands. In a while, you'll see also more Italian cars. Again, it's so much traffic. It's the middle of the night. Don't you guys ever sleep? And also, Italy has, and this is also very realistic, much less uh, lights once you're out of the cities. It is dark like this, which is super fatiguing. Belgium actually is the best country to drive in at night because almost every single stretch of highway has uh, very, very good lighting. But not here. And as you can tell, the road is a little bit elevated here, so we're probably in an area that is a little bit more mountainous. And I can feel that we're going uphill. Okay, we've got to pay a little bit more. Normally, I think the trucks have to go through the right side of these toll booths. Haha! <laughs> FCP, see that? That's, of course, DHL. Same colors. They don't use real brands in this game, except for the trucks themselves. All the rest is kind of... Sounds like, looks like. <laughs> but it's realistic enough for me. Milano, yeah. Well, we're not really going to Milan. That would be too much to the east, so we're going to uh, pass... Turin is right in front of us, of course, the city where they keep the Shroud of Turin. city itself, not so interesting. I've been there on vacation once and, yeah, ex kind of expected much more of it. It was okay, but it's not Rome. So in this case, I think we're going to uh, leave Turin in the north. And maybe we'll pass by Rome. We're definitely going to drive through the uh, region of Tuscany, Tuscany, which is very pretty. And also part of Umbria. 
So Milan and Genova. <coughs> That's more to the east. I think we're just heading towards one of the highways that goes uh, south. Mm. See a lot of these uh, sound walls here on the left. It's usually close to the cities. So you'll have lots of apartment buildings there. And the walls are meant to reflect the sound in a, in away from the from the houses <coughs> um okay we need to go to the left cuz i don't want to go to turin alt stazione 500 metri You may think it's excessive how often you have to pay, but that is actually quite realistic in this part of Europe. At least if you want to drive quickly, you can avoid paying, but then uh, they will, uh, you'll be on uh, 80 kilometer roads all the time, going through villages, and that is really not worth it. <coughs> At least not when you're, you know, on these high profile, expensive trips. So once I arrive in uh, Sicily, they'll pay me almost 60,000 euros, which is quite nice for, uh, for two and a half days of work. It's more than I make in television. <laughs> Okay, let's see. How are we doing on sleep? That's fine. We are probably need to do another stop somewhere in the south of Italy, but that shouldn't be much of a problem. And in a couple of hours, it's the daylight is going to be back, so we can admire the beautiful Italian landscape. <coughs> go past these trees uh, yeah we can go to the right again very good there are different ways to uh, look at your truck so there are different perspectives you can also hover above your truck but I always prefer to drive as if I'm really at the wheel because that's what I'm used to and any other perspective other viewpoint is very disconcerting especially if you're driving these large trucks well Looks like daybreak is uh, is there. And this is the northern part of Italy, so it's not the nicest part. If you go more east, oh, I gotta go to Genoa. Sorry. Here we go. So if you go more to the east, you have these big lakes, like the Como Lake, where they filmed uh, scenes for uh, Attack of the Clones. And Genova, and then of course, uh, Venice, all the way to the east of the upper part of, of Italy. Uh, this part that goes all the way down to Rome is uh, 
it's okay. It's a bit flat. Oh, we're getting this is a little bit more uh, hilly. Is that a word? Has more hills. So I'm just going to completely drive completely irresponsibly here because <laughs> it's quiet. So sometimes you'll see castles on on these mountain tops. But I really have to give it to the developers. This is what Italy looks like at this time of the day. Uh oh. Tourist bus. Always so slow. All right, we're going to Nizza, which is in France. Okay, we're probably going to circle around a town. Oh la la. I think we're heading into uh, early morning traffic here. Wait, is that sign still valid there? Maybe not. No, ah, you see, they put some plastic on it. So the road is changed. Now I need to pay attention here because this looks very intricate. <clears throat> so we're going to the harbor, at least for now. I think there... Oh, uh, yeah, this is a detour. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. <coughs> I have to go this way. <coughs> and then go for a really, really weird detour. I've never been in this part of Italy. At least not in this game. Look at that bridge. And then you've got the typical Italian apartment buildings here on the right. Check that out. Oh, I'm driving way too fast. It's probably 60 kilometers per hour here. Yep. Wow. This is a massive detour. Do I need to go here? Yeah, probably. Okay. To what city do I drive? I I forgot to look. I think it's um it's somewhere in Sicily. All right, let's be careful here. This is a pretty tricky curve. All right, here we go. We're back how we were doing on fuel, just fine. Sleep is fine. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get back on a on a faster road here. Let me just go through the telepass. Yep, there we go. Ooh la la, 40 kilometers per hour. Why so slow? Oh, there you go, it's Genova. Wow. I did not expect us to go to Genova. Oh, careful now, keep your eyes. Genoa discovered. Yeah, so I was right. I've never been here before. <sighs> what is it with these slow buses here? Come on, dude. Oh, a Hummer. This is worse. It's a caravan. Oh, no way. They want me to <laughs> turn around? For real? Look at that flat there. That apartment building that looks so Italian. Guys, I just want to get going. Marina. 
probably a building from the 80s. I don't want to go to the harbor. And we're going back to the highway. Careful now. Here we go. Servizio. Maybe we'll get to see a little bit of the, sk of the skyline of uh, Genoa. All looks and feels so Italian to me. See some palm trees, which indicates that the climate here is even warmer than in France. And then, of course, they will make us pay again. Of course, the uh, toll booths are very frequent because of the reduced scale of the game. So. Oh, oh my goodness! Uh. Ouch! When you hit something, the controller actually uses the rumble function. And it, it feels literally like, oh crud! <laughs> I just crashed into something. Oh boy, oh boy. Here we go. Milano, Livorno. Andiamo. I think this is probably the last town that they make us go through like this. Here we go. Now I've actually uh, traveled this road a couple of times when I was studying in Rome. Uh, the airplane tickets were still very very expensive back then and so it was much easier to carpool with the other priests and drive we would drive all the way from Rome to the Netherlands or the other way around but I don't remember having ever been to Genova I think there are other ways to go south but maybe this is because part of the map is just not there not sure. Okay. Um. So especially when we uh, when we arrive in Tuscany, that feels exactly like the the real thing. So sometimes we would drive in the summertime, which is very hot, and our cars didn't have air conditionings. Oh, he's getting tired again. Uh oh. Okay. We're going to have to get some sleep soon. But I want to get to the the main road that leads south. So I preferred actually driving home or driving to Rome in the winter with one exception and that is when it's snowing then it is super dangerous both in Italy and in France um, you'll see later on in Tuscany we'll have to go or in Umbria we'll go through loads and loads of tunnels and it's pretty terrible when it's snowing <coughs> with reduced visibility and our cars weren't really made for snow, being Dutch cars. All right. Still driving way too fast, but I don't see any Italian police. I do see that my indicator in the GPS window says that I really need to go to sleep. <laughs> Which is actually probably also true in real life, because I don't know what time is it. Uh, oh no, it's still okay. It's nine eleven. With this game, I always lose track of time. It's very disorienting, because the day and night cycle here is so different from real life.
Servizio. So that's probably a place where we can uh, take a nap. I don't know what what the experience is if you're just watching this on your uh, PC or maybe even mobile device. But to me, uh, driving around in a game like this uh, is very hypnotic. Okay, oops, <laughs> that was not an exit. Uh, maybe here, there you go. There's something compelling about just the driving on a, on a road and discovering new new areas. Uh, this time I'm going to park on the l on the right side of this guy so I can get out easier without uh, incurring more damage. All right, sleepy time. And there we go. It's uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Do I need to get some gas? No, I'm fine. Oops. So the funny thing is, this game does force you to sleep, but it does not force you to go to the loo or to eat or drink. <laughs> so I think my virtual self must have a super bladder. <laughs> or worse. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. Maybe in the future they will have games where you can actually... Whoa! Sorry about that, guys. Um, get out of the car and walk around and actually go and sit in a restaurant. How cool would that be? And then, of course, a VR version of this. Then you're really inside the Matrix. So there have been times when I was driving, actually re driving for real in France or in Italy or in Germany. And I, I was telling my fellow uh, travelers, like, oh, I remember this, I've been here, only to realize afterwards that it wasn't this game. <laughs> Tuscany, now we're getting into the interesting part of Italy. This is my favorite part of the, tr of the journey. We've got Parma on the right, known for its ham and its cheese, of course. And we are going in direction of Livorno. It's such a gorgeous day. They're constructing more apartment buildings here on the left, clearly. Uh-oh, speeding offense. <gasps> oh, no, I was not paying attention. A thousand euros. <laughs> okay, so my wage is just lower to 57,000 instead of 58,000. No, not again. <laughs> oh, mamma mia. Oh, I am just not paying attention. These traffic in infractions uh, are distracting. Oh, you see? You see the car? That's the police car that just find me. Ah, oh, sneaky little. <sighs> Could have known during the day it's always a bigger risk. So that's just 2,000 euros in, in traffic. <laughs> Infractions. Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> so glad this is a game. <laughs> Compared to the to uh, fines like that, the toll booths are 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 a steal. <laughs> okay, let's go telepass.
Normally I should drive slower here too, but there's never police anywhere here near these toll booths. There we go. And for the first time we see Rome on the road signs. That is always filling we, me with joy. And it confirms that we are actually going to pass near Rome. I'm not sure if we're going through Rome. Probably not. <coughs> Bound to see something of that city. I haven't done much cruising in Italy yet with this game. So I don't know how detailed the city is and if you can get anywhere near the Vatican for instance. But In real life when you when you have to pass Rome you don't see any of the uh, monuments because they're all in the heart of the city and the highway doesn't come anywhere near. Uh oh, I'm driving too fast again. Let's try to not get another fine of a thousand bucks, will we? Shall we? Ali, 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 Ali. Why are we driving so slowly? You're falling asleep. <laughs> Drive safely, thank you. This is meant to make you very drowsy. It's perfect preparation for a good night's sleep. Thank you so much for uh, joining this trip, if only for a while. Do -do 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 -do. This is not Rome yet. Although I can see train tracks. So that is the train that goes from Torino to Rome. Probably. We're still behind that yellow truck. And I'm driving too fast. See some more mountains here on the left. It's cool. Let's see. Ooh. Also, another reason why I like playing the American version of this game is that you can go a little bit faster normally than here in Europe. Because you can drive for literally for an hour in-game. Well, that's another nice detail. Uh, you saw that church here on the right? It's one of those more modern church buildings that you see a lot in suburbs in Italy. Oh, okay. Damage 13%. Uh-oh. -oh. That's what you get when you try to sight, do some sightseeing in this game. Crash into stuff. <sighs> there, I notice now that there's even an icon that shows the amount of damage. 13% of my truck is damaged. This is, oh, this is only this time. I've never had this before. <laughs> Just for the record. <laughs> I'm usually very, very safe driver in real life and even in game. That looks like a slightly older church, but that is probably also an older village because it's located, well, is that a specific city or is it just a random town? Yeah, it's a much older church. Not sure where that goes. Oh, police. Polizia. Folonica. Okay. Chances are that that is a real church. Because the town is indicated on the map. Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to read the comments and every time I do, I almost veer off track. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
if you want to get this game, um, I can recommend you wait until there's a sale. Uh, usually the base game and the DLC goes on sale for almost nothing. If you buy it now, you'll have to buy it full price, which is great if you want to support the developers. But uh, there are regular sales, especially of this game because it's a bit older. Um, and you can pick it up for literally for uh, three or four euros or dollars. The DLC can be expensive if you buy it new, but again, if you have patience and you wait for a sale, then you can pick up, I think I picked up France for just five euros or something like that. And this game for me, this is a game that I can always return to. Some other games I get fed up with, but this is just one of those casual games where I'll just go for a for a ride, you know, I want to, I'm, I'm kind of nostalgic of Ireland, for instance. I'll just go deliver some, some stuff in, in Ireland and drive around there for a day. Well, not really for a real day, but uh, for a virtual day. And then, you know, I can stop the game and pick it up sometimes months later. But it's always a great game to return to. And, whoa, oh, what is it with these Italians right now? What kind of behavior is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to merge on, on one lane. And that is indeed in Italy always a disaster. We do it all the time in the Netherlands, but in other countries, for some reason, it uh, panics people. Mamma mia, andiamo un po', eh? This is almost a traffic jam. Ooh, pretty. Look at that. Beautiful river. Dare I look to the left? Yes. Oh, so nice. Whoa, careful. There should be cruise control on this thing, but every truck has different ability so I'm not sure my own truck is tru cruise control which makes it makes it a little bit easier to look around man this is so slow come on 60 kilometers per hour and there's no way for me to go past I this is a kind of unrealistic. I don't remember a highway, especially not one that you pay for, where you can only drive 60 kilometers per hour. But maybe things will speed up here. I hope so. Tyranny. Okay, I've been there. But we want to go to Rome, of course. It's getting dark again. Half past eight. Normally, of course, I would have stopped for Some spaghetti. Oh, <laughs> oops. I was going to try to see if I could just run through that <laughs> barrier, but nope, it is just as inflexible as in real life. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so glad this is not real. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. City skylines. I've heard about that. 
Is that a city building game? I'm not very good at those. I did do uh, Sim City, played games like that, but it's enjoyable for a day or so, and then I get bored. But I always have a weak spot for for simulators like this, or stuff that makes me feel like I'm elsewhere. This is this is. For me, very relaxing because the only thing I need to focus on is not getting fined, <laughs> stay in the middle of the road. And for an hour or two, I'm just driving and everything else kind of disappears. And you have to focus enough to not being able to uh, drift off mentally too much. So you got to stay focused on on the game and so that really helps me to relax a little bit to when i have a lot of my on my mind this is a a great game to uh, wind down a little bit although i have to say that this uh, particular trip has been a little bit more exciting than I thought it would be <laughs> because of all the infractions. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. I think we we are probably approaching Rome. Oh, polizia. Careful now. Hello, Mr. Police. I Oh no! Engine malfunction. What the Oh no. That is new. I've never had that before in this game. I gotta go get my truck repaired. It's probably because I uh, <laughs> I treated it so roughly. Whoa, that's scary. Uh, that means I have to find a town. Near every town there is usually uh, a garage or something like that. And I need to see if I can get this one fixed. That is a first for me. I've played this game for years. Oh, but we are approaching Rome. This is actually the outskirts of Rome. It said Fiumicino to the right, which is the airport, the big airport where I usually fly, fly to. So Fiumicino is the airport. Will they have garages there? Is there a any industry near Fiumicino? Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh no, I don't I don't want to go there. I think that's going to get me off course a little bit too much. I'll just uh gamble that near Rome there will be a place where I can get this car repaired. <coughs> This is usually the uh, highway that you take when you land at Fiumicino and then take a cab or a bus to the center of the city. Uh-oh, looks like we're going to get a another detour here. Uh-oh, uh, 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 we can't go to the center of Rome. What the? That's not good. We're being diverted to Na Napoli. So, are we going to go westward? I think so. Oh, I you see that? In the distance, that looks like a, a gas station. So, maybe if we're lucky. Uh, no, 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 this is not for repairs. This is just a gas station. Which, uh, by the way, I probably should visit. Hey, hello, Alfredo. I'm fine. How are you? Uh, 
Aria Servizio. Let's go fill her up. I hope that technical problem was just a hiccup. Okay, here we go. Stop the engine. Hello, Dean. Hey, Anna. <laughs> if this was GTA, you could just ram them all. Yeah. <laughs> Piotr bought the Saturn V Lego set. Oh, wow. Yeah, I heard it was a really, really cool set to build. Congrats. So that was your first Lego build. Wow. Look at that big guy here in front of us. These big metal pipes. Okay, so we're going to Naples now. <clears throat> Hopefully. We're not going to be there in the middle of the night, but actually I think we are. So we're not going to see any of it. Nor can we see Rome. How disappointing. You know what? Next time I'll just drive with my own truck so we can do a little bit more sightseeing. Hey, I saw a question mark on the map. That means that there may be an industrial area near, but I don't think we can get there. Oh, what is that? There is an icon on the map, which I don't recognize. Oh, it's just a toll booth again. All righty. In France, we we uh, drove through many little towns, and here in Italy, it's all highway, which is unfortunate because that means no garages. <coughs> oh, look at that train! That is an Italian train with two floors that must be an early oh no it's actually it's late in the evening so it's evening train but you have trains like that going to Rome usually those double decker trains are more for shorter distances but since we're still in the vicinity of Rome this may be a train that goes to the uh, suburbs because Rome is huge. Inner city isn't, but the, the rest is. Artena Aprila. Uh, Aprila. Uh, still don't see any sign of an industrial industrial area. See some houses there. I'm not, I'm not going to Artena. I've never been there. I don't know if that's going to be too much off course. Let's just continue. Oh, what is that there? Oh, Carabinieri. Uh oh. I was honestly, I was only driving 80 kilometers per hour. Really, really, Mr. Carabiniero. <laughs> I'm not going to spend a single euro on fines in this game anymore. At least not today. Okay, that's uh, just another gas station. La Macchia Ovest. Again, oops. 
As soon as possible, it says now. Okay, I'm just going... Oh, well, look at that. How convenient. I think that's a garage here on my right, on the map. So this may be right in time. Casino. Oh, yeah, casino. That's actually not far from Rome. All right, let's go and see if we can get this thing repaired. I wonder if that also takes time. Because normally, of course, if you if you go to a garage, they can't fix it right away. So this may give us a few more extra hours. Oh no, you see, we're not getting anywhere near that garage. What the, how do I get there? Oh no, this is not good at all. Oh, hey, there is an icon. That seems to indicate a garage. That is very cool. Uh, the only question is, how do I get there? Maybe if I turn left here. Let's see. Okay, this is interesting. Spinelli, that's a brand for tires. Oh, <laughs> careful now. Yep, looks like this is a place where they can help us. <clears throat> now, I've never been to a repair place. So, a garage. So, I need to figure out how that works. I think it's in here. Oh, maybe they're closed. Of course, it's the middle of the night. Oh, no. Look, they open up for me. Ah, there's still a guy working there, so. Thankfully. Well, this looks like the place to park. To repair, upgrade, or paint your truck or trailer, press enter. Boom! Truck maintenance and repairs. Okay, damage report. 9% damage to the engine, transmission 6%, chassis, chassis, how do you say that? Chassis? 19%, cabin 15, and wheel 6%. Oh my goodness, truck damage is 16,000. <sighs> That's going to take a chunk out of my <laughs> profits. But I have no choice. I got to repair this. Oh, repairs are covered by your employer. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, that's good. All right, I could have ran into many more cars then. <laughs> All right, I did not know that. Okay. Very good. So how do I... Oh my goodness, how am I going to make this turn? That's going to be really tricky. I may just go backwards, but that is very risky. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. So far, so good. Now let's not crash into other cars. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're going to make it. All right. Oh. <laughs> Careful. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Now this is the hardest part. Now I need to get on the road. I just barely make it. Yes! Woohoo! Whoa! You moron! <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> oh, you saw that stupid car? Oh, that was terrible. Sorry about that. <laughs> this game is too realistic. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm not the only one who's like, whoa, what happened? <laughs> oh. No, not again. Speed. <laughs> oh, man. I don't like Italy. It's going to bankrupt me. At least we discovered a new town. That's that's good. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, 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 sorry. You know, I shouldn't watch, I shouldn't read the comments <laughs> while I'm driving. I'm setting such a bad example here. Uh man. Okay, let's see if I can, uh, this is where um, cruise control comes in really handy. But uh, I've checked this car doesn't have it. Another reason. Oh, look at that. That's just garbage on the side of the road. We're approaching Naples, so that's totally normal. <laughs> Naples has a massive uh, waste disposal problem because uh, most of the garbage uh, industry is owned by the mafia. Here we go. Good evening. Oh, I'm not paying attention. Don't read the comments. All right, where do we go? Left? Yes, Napoli. What time is it? Oh, it's one, one o'clock at night. We're going to go back on the highway. Oh, of course, yeah, we got off the highway to get the repairs done. But I, I have the distinct impression that there's much more police here in Italy than uh, we've seen in France. I didn't get one single speeding ticket in France. Lazio, Campania. So this was Lazio, where one of the famous soccer teams or clubs is uh, located. Lazio Roma. The big rivals of AS Roma. And now we're going to go to Naples. Napoli. Catanzaro and Bari. Bari is where St. Nicholas comes from. Or at least where they uh, keep his relics. Because St. Nicholas, of course, is originally from what is now Turkey. <coughs> Well, at least now, finally, we see someone else who gets a fine instead of me. <laughs> Glee. All right. Yeah, I'm not always paying attention to the speed limit. Uh, but that's mostly because I'm trying to read your comments and <laughs> get distracted. Again, in real life, I, I, I drive very, very safely. <laughs> but then again, I don't drive around in trucks in the middle of the night. Sh 
Should have crashed into that cop car. No, that is not a good idea in this game. <laughs> the fines are incredibly high. Oh, it's getting sleepy again. How is that possible? I mean, the bed, the, uh, the bed icon is completely blue. Hmm. So in theory, we should be doing fine. Napoli Bari, Napoli North. Uh, I think we're just going straight on. When is our ETA? Uh, quarter to five on Saturday. Actually, we uh, we're going faster than planned. That's good. Means we're going to see S Sicily during the day. Which I have not, I don't think I've ever driven to Sicily before in this game. <coughs> it should be pretty and warm. Okay, let's go to the right. Oh yeah, he is tired. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Napoli. Okay. Just like real Italy. All right. Let's see if we can get a nap somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. Now the icon is is red. So blue is actually an indication that we're getting sleepy. I thought it was a, a sign of being very much awake. Speeding offense, first time near a toll booth. <laughs> Kaching. That is like the fourth time I get fined. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Oh, I'm just not very lucky today. Hey, I see a bed there. Am I going to go there? No, I don't want to. Don't want to be in this city. It's probably a hotel. Oh, Naples! I've discovered Naples. That's cool. I've never been to Naples. All right, let's go and sleep, spend the night in Naples. At least we can, we can say that we, we've, we've stayed a night in Naples. I said, uh, I will get to see a little bit of Naples tomorrow morning. So where's that hotel? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's one of those horrible hotels. I hate these hotels. They're super cheap, but they're really, really terrible. Plastic beds and everything. It's full automatic normally. There's not even a reception. You just have to enter your credit card. Uh, where's the entrance? Oh, here it is. Okay, that was a very tight corner. Hotel. It doesn't even deserve the name of a, a hotel. It is absolutely rubbish. Mm, how does this work? Where do I park? Do I just park here in front of this thing? or? How does this work? Do I just stand here somewhere? Nope. Oh, maybe there's a parking lot there. Wait, I probably should just go and park in one of these. Yeah, that's probably it. There you go. I just got to stand in one of these lanes. At least we'll be positioned nicely to get out of here. All right, let's go to bed. Sleep. Good morning, Naples. Oh, you can just see a little bit of the city. Look at that awful hotel. Three stars. It looks like a total dump. 
Looks like a hotel for zombies. I mean, seriously? Three stars? You gotta be kidding me. I'm glad I slept in my truck. I just get bed bucks from looking at that building. <laughs> Shudder. Okay, where do we go? Left? Yes, left. There we go. Oh, shoot. I missed uh, the exit. Oh, well. Too bad. Oh, I can't go there. Huh. All right. Oh, we're going to the center of the city now. This may be a for very fortunate detour. Maybe we'll get to see a little bit more of uh, beautiful Naples. Some greenhouses here on the right. Very close to the city. Kind of weird. Oh yeah, we're definitely going downtown here. Ooh. Sorry! I wasn't paying attention. As usual. <laughs> oh, look, that's another commuter train. Oh, interesting. I've never been here, but I like it. Check out that um, harbor here in front of us. It's very typical suburb, suburban buildings there. This is an industry. Industrial. Oh, look at that boat. Wow, you see that? That's a huge... A uh, cruise boat, cruise ship. Naples, of course, is uh, close to the uh, eastern shore, shoreline of uh, Italy. Uh, the, the trams are exactly like they are in Naples. Do I turn here? I think so. I have discovered a recruitment agency. Well, that's great if I want to... Oh, we're going to take the boat! Awesome! Oh, this is not where I have to go. Uh-oh. There's a car behind me. And I think a fire truck. Okay, let's go take the boat to Sicily. That is going to shave off a lot of time. Much easier than driving. All right. Let's go take the boat. Whoa. So where do I go? Ah, uh, there we go. That's our ferry. Very good. <clears throat> Let's see the travel destinations. We can go to... Cagliari, but uh, I think we need to be in this part. I don't remember exactly where we have to drive, but I think it's Palermo. So let's just pick Palermo. It is 879 euros. Very good. Hey, Mike. 
So we are in Palermo, Italy, in Sicily actually, and it is already 11 o'clock at night, which means that we still have about, we still have to drive through the night and then we'll arrive on Sunday a quarter to two, so we're definitely behind schedule now. Because normally we were supposed to arrive at a quarter to four yesterday or this day actually so maybe taking the boat actually added to the distance I'm not sure it doesn't matter uh oh <laughs> illegal <laughs> yes very illegal all right let's go to the left here Naples does it look anything like Naples yes I think it does of course, it's the harbor district, so it's not the prettiest part of the city. Architecture looks very Italian, very realistic. Some unsavory people in the streets. Naples is not the safest city in Italy. Oops, sorry. Oh, I need to go back and take another. I think I... Oh, that's probably what happened. <laughs> I need to go back. I picked the wrong destination, so I actually... Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, can I just break the law here for a second? I don't want to go and... Uh-oh. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm at the stage where I don't care anymore. <laughs> as long as we arrive at our destination. <laughs> uh, pulled over by the police. Yes, I've got. I've been fined more than four times. Thousand euros each time I got a uh, fine. So, yes, the police is very realistic. Unfortunately. All right, let's go back to that boat. So I guess I have to go to, uh, to uh, is that Sicily? No, wait. Where are we? Oh, it's 30 kilometers per hour here. Okay, I'm now actually asking for a ticket. Porto, allora, here we go again, we just passed by this place. All right. Uh, and now we're going to take the boat again. Maybe I'm going to check where I actually have to deliver my cargo. <laughs> man well I'm the only passenger of course it's pretty late okay travel destinations well I don't have much choice I gotta go here Cagliari. That's a 12 hour. <whistles> okay. Let's try this. It has to be this. At least I've discovered this. I've never been there here before. Our customer expects delivery soon. Uh oh. You see? I'm like a day late. This is probably one of my worst performances ever in this game. <laughs> and we get music even to uh to make to make to heighten the tension. Normally you don't have music with this game. I think it's just because I'm late. <laughs> All right. Let's go. 
Boom, 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 boom. I hope this is unlicensed music, or this is uh, copyright-free music. <laughs> okay, uh, what's our ETA? Uh, just a few more hours left. All right, so now we're on an island. How cool is that? Driving way too fast. 50 kilometers per hour. Seventy kilometers per hour. Renar Logistic. That must be Eastern Europe. Or actually maybe even from the north, from uh, Norway or something like that. Hey dude. Okay, let's see. Go to the right. I don't have priority here, do I? No. Okay, here we go. You know what? And I, even though I've been driving for a couple of hours, I don't even know what I'm transporting because <laughs> I didn't pay attention. Okay, this is probably the final stretch. Olbia Sassari. I've never been here in real life either. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Whoa. Let's turn off the the rain. Whatever they're called. Okay, this music is definitely meant to uh, instill some anxiety. <laughs> Almost sounds like it's, it's like, like sounds like the music of Mission Impossible, which this actually turns out to be. Okay, two more hours before we arrive. That is fine. At least we're going to make a little bit of money. It's down to 54,000. Oh, you guys are not hearing any music. Okay, well, that's a good thing. Oh, the windshield wipers. Windshield wipers. Do you hear the sound of the engine? Maybe it depends on the sound settings of the streaming software. <laughs> so what is your excuse for being this late? Um, yeah, I kind of picked the wrong ferry. <laughs> I uh, didn't exactly know where which boat I should take. <laughs> I just picked one that uh, that I liked. Okay, we're getting there.
Oops. It's definitely more dry here. You see how the landscape is different from uh, the rest of Italy? The grass is very yellow here. And that is quite realistic because it's much warmer on Sicily. So in the summertime, it's usually super dry and the landscape looks like this. Only the trees with uh, deeper roots still can still stay green, but the rest turns yellow. Tuscany also gets yellow usually. Oh man, there's even garbage here on the highway. <laughs> Unbelievable. Are we there yet? Almost. One more hour. Olbia. Okay. Sounds good to me. There we go. Unfortunately, my iPad is uh, has run out of power, so I can't see your comments anymore. But I know that you are still there. I'll scroll through the comments afterwards and when I'm done with the stream. I'm already very happy that uh, streaming even works after various uh, attempts earlier today. All right, let's see. We must be approaching our destination. Yeah, I can see. See the flag on the on the map. That is where we have to deliver our cargo. It's probably near that industrial park that's an electricity central. Ooh, pretty. Very nice. Zona industriale, industrial zone. Almost there. To be honest, I did not expect this trip to be so long. <laughs> the distance was a little bit too ambitious maybe for a first, uh, first let's play. But it is realistic. I mean, this is what the game is about. It's uh, just being in a truck, driving through Europe or driving through the United States. Well, you get to see some places, mostly from the highway, but still. All righty, here we are, finally. Ah, <laughs> the guy's on the phone. Yep, I can see a green icon. That's probably where I have to deliver the cargo. Yeah, there we are. Omnia something something. Chimica Italia. So this is a chemical plant. And now I could park my truck myself, but no. <laughs> no, I've done enough. <laughs> so I'll do it automatically. There we go. Hot chemicals delivered from La Rochelle to Olbia. We've driven more than 2,000 kilometers. It took us 83 hours and 49 minutes. Thankfully, it compressed time. Base reward, 
44,000. Fines, 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 fines. Late penalty, 11,000. <gasps> Damage penalty. Well, the total um, result is still positive. So I made 45,000 euros and gained 2,000, a little bit more than 2,000 XP. So that's not bad. But I've done better. And then I've got these extra points that I can uh, add to certain skills. So, for instance, fragile cargo or just-in-time delivery, eco-driving. Let's do eco-driving. So uh, you, you save on fuel if you uh, select this stuff, which, of course, also results in uh, a better uh, end fee. All right, that's it for, uh, for today. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this, and um, we'll do this again. I'm not, so sh not sure when, but it was fun, and I'm looking forward to reading all your comments uh, afterwards. So have a nice evening and a good start of the next day. What day is it today? It's Wednesday. <laughs> have a great Thursday, everybody. Thanks. <laughs>